your anchor and I got a big bull red on. That's the kind it would want for the tournament. That's pretty That's fish. That's a tournament sized fish. I tell you what, if you lose them now, Bobby, you'll have you'll have a fish story. I'll That's right. If that's a Jack Cavell, it's 30 or 40 pounds. Why don't you pick him on? I got him. I got him. See how I got him? That's what the sight fishing is all about. That's why I like to fish those redfish tournaments. Pro Shops presents Fishing with Roland Martin. Brought to you by Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, designed by fishermen for fishermen. Timbuktu, Fisher's Choice, real bait ready when you are. And by Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Closed caption provided by Spro Lures. This segment of Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by Power Pole, shallow water anchoring system. Hey, Bobby. Oh, how, how you doing this morning, man? Hey, how, hey great. How far, how far do you think we're going to have to run today? We're about 12 miles out to us. Oh, I mean, this guy got some local knowledge here, local oh, talent telling us where yeah, to go. Look, I love this marina. This is convenient, isn't it? Yeah. Right here at Ocean Springs. Wow. Our fishing destination is none other than Biloxi, Mississippi, with my good fishing buddy, Bobby Carter. Bobby is the executive host for the Isle Casino, and we've done a lot of stuff together. That's we've right. done we've... Cobia films and, and Red Snapper films and everything. What are we going to do on, on today's film? Well, today we're going to go out to Horn Island, and there's a lot of variety of fish out there. We've got redfish, Cobia, Jack Crevel, uh, speckled trout, you name it. Hopefully, we'll get in some big bull reds today. i got plenty of jigs, you know, uh, soft plastic bait, plus we have live bait. Hey, if we can, some big bull reds, some trout, some cobia, let's go. Let's, let's go, go see them. Boy, I saw some beautiful things here just a minute ago, Bobby, on the bottom. Some beautiful arches. I, I should have stopped on them. I know they were fish. I think we'll find them right here. Yeah. Well, I, I got my, I'm jigging a jig, and then I'm drifting a couple uh, croakers as well. Well, I'm going to go down on the bottom with this live shrimp and see what happens. Really? OK. Oh, they're, they're right on the bottom. I see the wreck right here. Oh, there's one. There, there's a bull red. There there's a bull red. There's a bull red, boys. <laughs> there we go. He doesn't get in that wreck. <laughs> I tell you, I knew we'd find him. <laughs> there, you know, it's traditional at this time of year, here it is in the fall, these bull reds come in in schools. And what they do, they come in and, and I stage out here to spawn. So what I have here is a, is a bait rig. I have a jig out there as well. But these are big fish. You know, these these these, these bull reds are they could they could be 30, 40, 50 pound fish. And that's what we have here. Uh, but there's some smaller ones too. Now, there was a big tournament down here this week at the aisle. In fact, the aisle was the host, and uh, I want to thank you, Bobby, for setting that whole thing up. But it was a, a redfish tour, and I fished and competed in the tour. Did, did all right, caught a lot of fish. But we didn't fool with these bull reds because in the tournament, we have a 30 inch rule. Now, this fish, I'm telling you, is way over 30 inches. He's not gonna be a legal fish. He's gonna be way bigger. We got all kind of fish. Big old, big old red fish. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, see, that's, that's over 30 inches. When you get them that big, that's like 15 pounds or 20 pounds. Uh, now, they're actually, uh, here in Mississippi, we're actually in Mississippi waters right now. So that's a, uh, that fish, I can measure it, but it's, it's probably 30, I don't know, 32 inches long. Yeah, I think he just got his second wind, just made another run. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna unhook him. 
Okay, I'm gonna just unhook them right here like this. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You notice how that hook just caught it right in the corner of the mouth? I know. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> now, I got my Spro jig if I can get that thing working. I had one hit it when I was drifting it, and one hit my jig right here. One hit Bobby. So we got a whole big school of bull reds right here. I'm just going to let him wear himself out because we're away from the wreck now. Yeah, they were they were close to that wreck, though, weren't they, Bobby? What do you think of that casting rod? That's just a little light bass rod. I like that. And what that's pound a, test is it? Yeah, that's a that's a 30-pound diamond braid that I use for mainly bass fishing. It's a seven-foot rod with a uh, <laughs> that's a that's a Johnny Morris Elite Reel from Bass Pro Shop. So you're using bass equipment to bass catch 30, 40 for, pound redfish. For huh? big bull reds, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that thing, we might have to chase after him, huh? Uh, He's getting way back there. He's a good one, huh? Hope he's not a Jack Cravel. No, that's look at the size of this look bull. Look at the size right? of this look, look at the size of this guy. Look at this guy, man. We got a monster. Quite possibly the biggest redfish. Wow, fish that is my record. Bobby's life. I don't know. That is my record right there. I don't know. It's about thirty. Hard to say how big he is. And his own little jig. Now that hit the little Yamamoto jig. I had the little Yamamoto the grub on there. I don't know how big he is, but he had hit a little Yamamoto. Let's go, I'll show you what we had on there, boys. We had this little Yamamoto jig head on that one. And uh, let me just weigh it. I got a scale here. And I, I got a scale right here. And see how much that thing weighs, Bobby. Look at the size of that fish, Roland. Roland, you want to go ahead and weigh this thing? Yeah, that's good. I got a scale it's right a here. It's a pretty big fish. My biggest is about 30 pounds. It's probably about at least 20, 25 pounds. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Gosh, that thing is 24. Five and a half pounds. Nice fish. 25 and a half pounds. That's a good one, boys. Okay, let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Okay, okay. go ahead and drop him back in there. All right. And we'll just go point. There you go. Right down. There he goes, swimming away like crazy. Okay, that's good. Now we're ready to go. Let's uh let's get another. Okay, first, let me just show what, what that fish hit. I was drifting, I had several rods out. I had a croak rod on one rod, I had a spro jig on another rod, and on the rod that, that that big bull red just hit was this this bass lure. It's a it's a swimming cinco, actually, but it makes a really good saltwater bait. And I put it on this this quarter ounce head, and I'm just threading it on the line like this, and just coming across those ribs like that. Hey, that, that looks like an eel. You know how much those fish like eels. This segment of Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. Mako Boats presents this segment of Fishing with Roland Martin. Well, you were anchoring. I got a big bull red on. <laughs> Go ahead and tie it up when you can. I got one on we're that all jig. Set. Big bull red right on. We anchor right on the bottom here. He's not as big as yours, I don't think, but he's a good bull red. Let's see what happens. <laughs> On the jig! Spro jigs, huh? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how big this guy is. All right, I got another one. Well, I got a good bull. He's kind of small. I think it's a blue fish. A little blue, a blue fish. fish. I got a bull red right here. Okay, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Nice little redfish. Hey, that's about a 30-inch redfish. That's about, that's the kind it would want for the tournament. It's pretty that's fish. That's a tournament-sized fish. I'm gonna see if this fish is 30 inches or not. He might be 30. Uh, no, he's over 30. See, this is the 30 bar. He's actually 31, so this is not a legal fish. So these fish are gonna be all too big. The ones we caught in the tournament we're just an inch shorter than this. Okay, boys. This is the one ounce Spro jig that I'm using. This is a chartreuse one, but it has a really good hook. And of course, it's a 30 pound test uh, diamond braid, but, but really, that's, that'll hold a really big redfish. So, gonna, there we go. Hey, what you got, son? <laughs> this is him. <laughs> this, this is, is a him. big one, huh? <laughs> Tell you what, Rogan. This is awesome. This is some awesome stuff. <laughs> Big one, Bobby. 
Yeah, he's got a lot of fight in him. He's a little bit too big for the tournament, but he's nice. I missed another one. I missed one. Let me bring him around the side. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, that's a 30-inch fish there, I think, isn't it? I think he'll qualify for the it. tournament. It hit that Yamamoto again. It sure yeah, did. It hit the Yamamoto grub. I'll be that going. That, that Yamamoto's working good. That's a good bait. Okay. Let's, uh, got the net. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 30-inch that's a fish. That's, that's actually a keeper fish on this scale. I'm going to take it up right here and weigh it. And just, I'm just going to see if it's 30 inches. Yeah, look at that. That's a 30-inch fish. That's actually a 29-inch fish. That'd be a tur legal tournament fish there, boys. Pretty fish. Yeah. If we're going to keep them, we'd put them on. OK. OK, let me drop them back in the water. There we go. Right, there he yeah, goes. Let's go catch another one. You cut me off. Oh, there's one. That looks like a mackerel. That looks like a mackerel. I I think it's a mackerel. I think it's a mackerel. If one just cut my jig off, a spro jig, and that's why I said it's a mackerel. It's either that, either a mackerel or a big bluefish. Because I just lost a jig. Uh, uh, look at this. It's a grouper. It's a grouper. You know we're fishing the wreck close to if it's a grouper. It's a little old guy grouper. There he is, there he is. What is that, what's on that one? Whatever it is, it's big. Big, big, big. I got one on. I got one on. I got one on too. Yes, sir. There you go. And you live, how long have you lived in Ocean Springs, Bobby? Well, I grew up here and uh -huh. I went away uh, for about 15 years. Uh -huh. I was in the oil business over in Louisiana. I got you. And then when they legalized gaming, I knew it was going to take off, so I came back home. Okay. And I've been with the Isle. That was a good choice. Wasn't yeah, it? real good choice. Well, you got in on the ground floor of the Isle. Sure it's did. called the Isle of Capri back then. Back then, yeah. Now it's called the Isle, but uh, you've worked there, I guess, almost the whole time it's been open. Uh, I missed it right about six months. Been a little, little, okay. Around 17 years. That's just a tournament sized fish, what we call a tournament sized fish. That's the size that we caught in the tournament that we could weigh in. Weigh about nine pounds, eight pounds. And uh, I'm just gonna come along right here, take my pliers, and just release them. And nice eight pound, nine pound fish. Okay. Bobby, you still have your, he has, he's almost spooled his fish. His is way off. I tell you what, if you lose him now, Bobby, you'll have, you'll have a fish story. I'm That's right. You. About an that hour a, on this mystery fish. That was a world record. If that's a Jack Cravel, it's 30 or 40 pounds. Gigantic. It's pumping like a Jack, isn't it? Yep. Look at the size of this guy. There we go. We got him now. Oh, what a big, big, big Jack Cravel. That is one huge, huge, huge fish. That's, look at this thing, Bobby. That's a nice fish He's there. He's gigantic. He's got to weigh 30 pounds. He's gigantic. Oh, son. Look at that guy. Heavens. <laughs> a nice tell fish. You what, there's some weird stuff down here. Most of these are too big. You know, but, but last week when we were fishing that tournament here, Bobby, I was over in the marsh not too far from here, and we had some beautiful quality fish. They were five to say nine pound fish. And what I'd like to show the audience, and I'm, I know you know all about the marsh fish, is a little bit about what that's all about. You know, we've seen this big school of, of bull reds out here on this wreck, and that's one thing. Right. Let's show them the marsh. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna run, folks, and stay tuned because we're gonna show you some more red fishing in the marsh. This segment of Fishing with Roland Martin is brought to you by All Day Turbo Power Energy Drink. Finally, healthy energy.